All right, to create a motor here, we have to deal with the graphic elements. Okay, so for that, I would like you to go here, text and graphic list. All right, double click this one, and then we can add graphics. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's drag it down and check out what we have in the graphic folder. So open this folder, and I would prefer you to go here, unified and modular. All right, open this one again and go to the motors. Now here you will find motors with different graphics, gray, green, and red, typically three colors. So in our case, we need red and green or gray and green, whatever suits your need, right? So let's go back here. And this is, this says it's a text list. So change this to graphic list. So this is a graphic list. Now here I'm going to add my first graphic and let's name it as motor, okay? Now in this motor graphic, what we have to do, you have to come here, all right? Now the value, when the value of the motor is, you can just write here zero, all right? At zero, what graphic you need, okay? So open this one, and here we need to have a graphic, but we don't know if we have this motor graphic here. So I think what you can do is, you can directly drag this graphic here, all right? All right, at zero, we need motor to be off, so drag the red graphic here okay so we need at one this should be green so double click here again you will automatically have one here and this graphic is not here we suppose the graphic list is not here but I guess you will get one because we selected two we selected this before because this is the quick list which you will get once you select one graphic so select graphic one if you don't get your graphic in this list you can directly drag it here all right that's the best way so at zero, this is red, at one, this is green. But what is the tag of that? We'll come to that later. So we have this graphic motor, and this you can see here, it is listed, okay? So go back to your screen zero. And now if you don't see the graphic list here, you again have to just go here, go to your graphic, just click copy, and go back to your screen zero, and click paste. Okay, wait, this is, not the way let's go back to graphic list and you have to select this whole click copy screen zero click paste and you have this motor here all right and you can resize it according to your need so let's take this motor and if you don't want to see this indicator I don't, okay, let me just reduce it or keep it aside so this you can see that you can change its you know the appearance and the general layout now if you go to the general the main thing is we have to tag it so tag it with the address motor okay now in the appearance let me see if i can make it transparent yes i can do that and okay let's change the background of the screen so you just click on the screen and let's change it to white and this motor is here, this is transparent, and I do not need its border. So let's make it solid. Now it looks like a transparent. All right, so this is your HMI with motor graphic element. Let's download that again. Compiling, and it's going to overwrite it. Click load. And it will take a while, so everything is downloaded. Let's go back to our main program this is our HMI and let me go to the screen zero again okay so we have two indications now this is my motor that's my LED so let's press start okay I think emergency is press release it press start and we can see I don't know if you can see it properly or not this this motor is now green I hope this angle is okay in the camera if I press top, this goes red. All right, this color may not be, you know, this may not be true to your eyes because of the camera resolution, but I hope you understand there's a change in color which comes when you change the graphics. All right, this is actually changing the graphic behind the, you know, behind the screen. This is stop, this is start, again, emergency, release, this is start, stop. All right. I hope this is interesting. Now you can have an idea that with this graphic, you can add so many things in this HMI, all right? You can add a graphic of motor, you can add a graphic of pump or a heater. So if you if you navigate to this graphic element again, I'll go back to here. You can see we have different kinds of motors 
and these are just from the motor section you have heaters you have heaters you can turn on and turn off then you have some cabinets then you have some boilers so you can show when something is burning when your heater is on you can have this boiler with this fire if heater is off you can just show this boiler like that okay so this depends upon your creativity now how you utilize these symbols in your HMI screen because the basic idea of using graphic is you just have to give the address 0 at 0 what graphic you want at 1 what graphic you want and you can even increase this range this range can go up to 2 3 4 5 so you can have different graphics here at different outputs all right that totally depends upon what you want to do with your bits if it's just a boolean address it was it will be 0 and 1 if it is like a word it will go beyond and if it is you know having a more values like you can also animate a slide these things we will see more when we are having an animation lecture in the Siemens DIA. I hope you like this part of the lecture and I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.